Driving inland near Subic Bay, one arm of MacArthur's three-pronged attack captures Olangapo naval station on the way to Manila. This same thrust, which later joined with the forces pouring south from Lingayan Bay, also takes an airfield, which, prior to the approach of the ground forces, had been heavily strafed by our bombers. Many Jap planes had been caught on the ground and will never fly again. The fleeing enemy used bombs to mine the field, but the dragon's teeth are pulled, and entrenched Japs ahead are pounded by our heavy howitzers. The enemy puts up little resistance until our troops reach the outskirts of the capital, where their rear guard elements put up a strong delaying action. spearhead closing the trap on the Manila Japs is led by Lieutenant General Robert Eichelberger. The American forces, whose strength has been increased by bands of patriotic Filipino guerrillas, moves on Manila with all the irresistible force of a tidal wave. Luzon's native tribesmen, the Negritos, add their forces to the liberation of their homeland. The main attack rolls down from the north. And as our victorious forces reach the suburbs of Manila, the net closes on Japanese collaborators. These are official Signal Corps pictures. There is a little extra welcome in this particular town. Seems our guns and bombs clean mist the local brewery. Nearing the city, swollen to a million wartime population, stark proof of the Jap occupation is encountered. And as Manila Station is reached, evidence of Jap demolition is met. Knowing they couldn't hold the capital, they destroyed all they could with gasoline and dynamite. Loyal guerrillas point out Jap snipers. The Yank sharpshooter gives them a dose of their own medicine. Three years of relentless effort is rewarded. Five-star General Douglas MacArthur sets his people free. Here in Bilibid prison, 1,100 people suffered all the vicious brutality of a remorseless enemy. Faced with a diet of potato peelings and the flesh of dogs and cats when they could get it, deliberately starved and ravaged by disease, the released captives find strength and courage to greet their liberator. <laughs> Toughest of the barriers encountered by our forces was the Pasig River. An armored Jap boat is sunk. Our troops cross to the south bank, under fire. The wounded are rushed to hospitals. The Japs, entrenched in south side Manila, fought stubbornly for many days, using every trick they knew, burning and wrecking as they withdrew and sheltering behind the civilian population, they staved off defeat as long as possible. Manila is a shambles, and the natives are driven from their homes by the savage battle. For years, they had to bow to their hated invaders, salute them, obey their curfew, and display their flag. But now, with a little more effort, they will be free of the yoke. Nearing Intramuros, the old walled city built by the Spanish, the fighting grows in intensity. Some of the natives are caught in the murderous crossfire. The 
The Japs blew up water mains and pumping stations, and Manila's fire equipment was completely useless. In North Manila alone, one whole section of 20 blocks was fire swept. Our forces fought fire with dynamite, blasting fire breaks to halt consuming flames. Through the gutted city, the battle continues. There's only one way to stop the destruction, drive the Jap out completely. While in control, the Japs methodically stripped the Filipinos of their possessions, but they saved some things. As the Yanks advance, the citizens return to their former neighborhoods. Thousands died because the Japs would not release them and because collaborationists betrayed them. Agents of the enemy who helped open the doors to the Jap invaders. Many Filipinos gave their lives as part of the price of victory. But Manila's dead are revenged. The six weeks campaign cost the Japs 100,000 men and opened Manila Bay to our ships. The enemy's lifeline through the China Sea is at the mercy of our planes and battle wagons. The recapture of Manila sets the stage for the big show, the drive on the Japanese homeland, and Manila itself will arise again from its ashes. <laughs>